important aspect of any type of work environment is safety. Everything else is secondary. This is why I have some serious issues with the LRT. I would like to point out that these aesthetically unappealing wires, these aesthetically unappealing wires are giving off what is called electro smog. The electro smog is caused by electromagnetic fields or EMFs generated by the LRT. Now keep in mind your EA. According to a study in 2002 by the World Health Organization and the International Agency of Research for Cancer in Europe, they have found a higher rate of cancer, especially leukemia in children, living along the areas where there are LRTs. Electric rail workers and drivers also have a higher incidence of cancer and Alzheimer's than the population that is not exposed to the electro smog. We don't have to go to Europe to see this type of information. Just Google Canadian Cancer Society. It is on their page in the front. The safety threshold for the safety threshold is four milligas. Anything over is linked to these health issues. I'd like to point out that in the EA report in 2015 study commissioned by the city of Hamilton and written by Hatch McDonald, the study is about the electromagnetic fields produced by LRTs. It identifies that the sensitive equipment located at McMaster University will be adversely affected by the EMFs from the LRT. This is on revision D, page II, in the executive summary of the report. Now keep in, keep in mind, McMaster's sensitive equipment, like scanning detection microscopes, SEMS, does have protective shielding against interference. However, even with the shielding, this equipment is still affected because of the electromagnetic field from the LRT is 10 to 15 times higher than accepted levels. There is no mitigation. There is no mitigation for this. The study is stated on page II. The EA report does not identify an, a mitigation strategy to counter this serious adverse health effect. Apparently, remember the saying, they have not identified any solutions for this issue yet, but remember the saying, don't live near power lines. A lot of people have taken that to heart, and there is some links. I have been in, I have been in contact with Dr. Magna Havas. I'm just going to put some things up. A professor and medical doctor at Trent University, Dr. Magna is one of the world's leading authorities on EMF health issues. She has correlated these findings, and if you want more information from her, you can email her. She's easy to find, or you can watch her lectures on YouTube. Safety, safety first. Studies show where LRTs are located in city cores, pedestrian and vehicle fatalities have risen, 31% in Chicago. LRTs are more dangerous compared to buses. Page 26 on the Hamilton Rapid Transit Initiative Economic Potential Study by the IBI Group dated March 2009, a report that was commissioned by the city of Hamilton. It identifies the LRT fatality rate is 280% higher than buses. That is a high number. The number of deaths we experience now, and it does not include suicides, is that an acceptable risk hazard for you? In my opinion, absolutely not. I do not believe a 280% increase in the number of fatalities is a good plan. A good plan would reduce the number of fatalities. This plan increases it. Trains are not meant to share the road with cars, trucks, and emergency vehicles. Bikes and pedestrians, keep in mind, by bringing the LRT into the core of the city, you are putting the health of every man, woman, and child and their pets of Hamilton at risk. Emotionally, you are they're putting them at risk emotionally because of the gridlock, physically because of safety issues such as air pollution, electro smog, more accidents, and financially because of higher taxes and more increased use of the medical system and likely higher property taxes. This begs the question, are we not supposed to make the world a safer place for our children?
councillors, it is obvious that bus rapid transit is the way to go. If you keep promoting this LRT, which is 10 times larger in cost than the stadium, we will have 10 times the issues to deal with. It will be like you will be stuck in a fighting pit all the time with no way out. Do the sensible and safer alternative for the men, women, and children of Hamilton and the people that pay your wages and promote the BRT. And let's push the LRT aside till we have a real good plan that goes from city to city or to the airport. Thank you very much. Thank you, Victor.